guys, it's Jay from Lead Animation here. Uh, this is going to be a short intro video, and it's going to be the same intro for two videos I'm going to be putting up. One is going to be cleaning the chamber on a 5.7 pistol and cleaning the firing pin channel of the 5.7 pistol. But a couple things I want to start out with. Uh, uh, first things first. One, I'm often asked, what do I use to clean a 5.7 with? Traditionally, what I use is uh, simple green. Pure Simple Green. Uh, you don't want to soak blued pistols in Pure Simple Green because it will mess up the bluing. But on the 5.7, I use the Simple Green. I scrub it and then I rinse it off with super hot water, the hottest water I can handle, and then I blow it off with compressed air. And then, now for lubricating, CLP Break Free. It's the hands down the absolute best thing for the 5.7. 5.7 likes lighter lubes. Any kind of heavier lubes, greases, 5.7 does not like it. In the past, I have tried all sorts of stuff just about all of the new gun oils and all that crap out there that stiletto gun oil all those different gun oils I've tried them all and they don't really compare to the CLP break free the only thing that came close to giving the break free a run for its money was the frog lube the original frog lube in paste which actually worked pretty damn good we tested it uh, then frog lube changed its uh, formulation into a liquid and it went downhill from there it turned into frog glue glues up the guns total nightmare complete waste of fucking time uh, that's why we stopped selling it so CLP break free now the most important thing though that you need to have in your bag to work on and clean the 5.7 is carburetor cleaner all right carburetor cleaner is designed to remove lacquer now you're not going to bathe the entire gun in this but you're going to use this on the chamber and the firing pin channel to get rid of the lacquer. What happens is when you're firing, the lacquer that's on the case slowly builds up in the chamber and in the firing pin channel, along with little small pieces of scraps of brass and other uh, detritus from firing the weapon. Um, no other gun solvents do anything to lacquer. You can get the baked on build up lacquer uh, in your chamber to the point where the round won't chamber properly. You can scrub it with any bore solvent you want and all it does is polish the lacquer. It does not remove the lacquer. Now, degreasers, also known as brake clean, they do not touch the lacquer also. And this is actually by design. What most people don't realize is while brake shoes and brake pads are riveted into place, they are also glued in place at the same time and they use a lacquer based adhesive which is why brake clean and uh, other degreasers do not touch the lacquer. You need to get inexpensive carburetor cleaner. Okay, I usually recommend the Walmart brand, but I had gotten a coupon from O'Reilly's uh, for $5 off the $20 purchase, and I purchased a case of the uh, O'Reilly's carburetor cleaner. Okay, and again, you don't want to bathe the entire gun in it. You want to use it in specific places because if you do get it, like on, say, your sights, it will take the uh, paint and stuff off on your sights. So, like, again, uh, like I said, this is going to be an intro video. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, same intro, but two different videos. Again, simple green. And, oh, and if I don't have simple green laying around, I will use Dawn dish uh, soap in a pure form, scrub it up really good, rinse it out with hot water. 5.7 can be really easy to clean. You don't have to overanalyze it. Uh, CLP brake fluid, uh, CLP brake free. Uh, you, you, uh, you, depending where you're at, you can have a heavier film on it or just a light film that you just smear on with your finger to act as a protectant if you're in a dry area in a desert and generic carb clean. Now, on to the next two videos. Okay, now moving on to clearing of the firing pin channel. Now, again, uh, uh, the barrel that you saw was out of my carry 5.7. Uh, we have here a uh, Mark II uh, OD Green lower rare. Uh, it has uh, Elite Ammunition's uh, fiber optic sights on it. This particular one has green on the rear and green on the front, uh, and it has the raised uh, sight. This is an actual EFK barrel. Now uh, I won't get as much debris out of this firing pin channel because this gun has been fully accurized and it's I've treated the firing pin opening and the breech face to reduce the amount of crap that builds up in there but you still need to do this now being a 5.7 sorry about that I should have this ready uh, most of you guys have the uh, firing um, uh, magazine firing disconnect in place so you want to make sure that you have an empty magazine and again for the safety sallies totally clear safety is on right now okay so what we're going to do we bring it back and you see here the channel this is the firing pin channel 
wiping it off a little bit. I don't know how well I'll make sure this is how well this is showing. What you want to do is you turn it like this and you spray some carburetor cleaner in there. So I spray the carburetor cleaner in there. Then we want to drop the slide, let the excess dribble out, and then we want to pull our trigger. Now And that's how you repeat the process. Now, on my particular firearm, you can see that almost nothing came out. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the firing pin channel on this uh, particular 5.7 has been treated uh, during our accurizing procedure. Now, for those of you who don't have, uh, have a newer 5.7 uh, that uh, has not had that done to it, or just a newer 5.7 in general, you will get amazing amount of crap that will come out from here. You'll get a, a lot of times if it gets thick enough it'll be actually a little biscuit of material with multiple layers of that biscuit and basically where you start to see this problem is during it'll look like light fire it, well it will manifest itself as light firing pin strikes. It will start appearing with elite ammunition and FN 192, 195, and 198 ammunition first. All of those cases use small rifle primers with a thicker cup. Uh, the, your American Eagle and your SS 197 will still function since they use small pistol primers. But it will build up and get worse so it will progress and then all of a sudden your SS 197 and SS 198 will no or i'm sorry uh, american eagle will no longer function uh you want to do this procedure for clearing the firing pin channel you want to do this every time you clean the gun all right especially if it's a new gun uh, i've seen some of them where over time the breech face will clean up a little bit and i've also seen some where the burrs on the breech face are so bad that they don't clean up over time and the only solution to keeping the firing pin channel from clogging with shit is sending it to me and having me dress the breech face. Again, always use your carburetor cleaner. You have the channel right here. A couple drops of carburetor cleaner. Drop it. Stick your magazine in. Point it straight down. And then you do this because this would be a good marker to tell you just how bad your gun is when you do this because you'll get a lot more, um, uh, it'll give you a good idea of just how much shit is building up in your gun and whether it may be a long-term issue.